All right, I was able to get my new Betaflight board flashed with uh, 3.1.7, and I got the uh, quadcopter taken apart here. I just wanted to show you, uh, here's the stock power distribution board. Then I have this lead, that's how I set up my battery lead that'll be all changed and then here I have a 12 volt step down and a 5 volt step down both Palulu step downs that are wired directly to this power distribution board so that'll all be taken off of there and then part of my camera system here's my LC filter which will be also will be removed so I'm going to be cleaning this up a lot but I have my uh, sir, or my uh, ESC wires cut so short for this board, I'm going to have to lengthen those. So I'll have to cut this shrink back, put some longer wires on to be able to reach into the, the beta flight board on all four of those speed controllers. So that's going to take me a little bit of time to rearrange all that. But anyway, that's, that's where I'm at so far. So lots of stripping down and uh, it'll be much simpler when I'm finished, hopefully. Alright, so here's where I am. Got all the uh, ESCs wires removed. I had to do the uh, negative, the ground, and then both the uh, positive and negative on each one of them. The only wire I could keep was the signal wires were long enough. So I'll have to be replacing all of those and that's what I'm going to be doing next I actually used both of those I'll see if I can get it to where you can see it both of the uh, fiberglass boards in replace in plate replacing the uh, PDB that came off of there this is ten and a half grams each one of these fiberglass boards are are uh, five grams so the only thing I'm saving it was originally one fiberglass board and then the PDB so that's about uh, 15 and a half grams and uh, since I'm replacing it with another fiberglass board I'm only gonna save about five and a half grams I don't know that two of the fiberglass are necessary probably not but the reason I put my extra one on there, for one, is I had it. And two, um, that weight savings, five grams, is negligible, I think, on a frame this size. And three, I wanted to kind of take up some of the distance on the, on the length of the bolts. Again, I don't know that that's really necessary, but that's how I'm going to end up doing it. And then uh, flight controller fit on there just like that so it'll be pretty clean once I get those wires thing is now is I need to measure for the wires get them all cut and then I'm gonna flip the uh, beta flight board over solder all of the positive and negative ESC wires on there and then I'll finally mount it and then I'll connect all the top stuff. So um, one thing that I am not doing, these are just plastic standoffs. I would like to replace those with the rubber vibration isolation standoffs, but I don't have any. Will be easy enough to do, I think, in the future if I decide that I need to. I wish I had them with me right now, but I don't. So I'm going to put it back together like this just to test it and get everything running. And then uh, should I determine I need to put the isolation ones on, I'll get some of those and replace them. So anyway, that's where I'm at now. Next, I'm going to solder up all these wires and get them all cut to length and everything. All right, everything is ready to mount installed. I got my power lead on the board all the ESC power wires on the bottom 
I actually, uh, there's two jumpers here for the uh, for the RAM line, which is going to feed power to the video transmitter and the camera. I have VBAT selected, so that's going to be just battery voltage. That's probably where I'm going to install that 12 volt step down. And then uh, for my receiver, since I'm using FR Sky, I'll be, I, I, my thing won't focus. I uh, soldered it up so that it gives that uh, 5 volts. So everything should be done on the bottom. I'm not going to put a card in it yet. And then on the top, I got my buzzer on there. I just put it right on the board. It's going to make it just a little bit tricky to get to that positive power wire right there for the ESC, but I think I can get it, get it okay. Anyway, I'm ready to put this on here. I got all my signal and ground wires on the uh, ESCs themselves. So I'm going to get this mounted up and then get these all soldered up and I'll come back and show you what, I, what it looks like when I get done with that. Well, there we go. Got the board installed, got the buzzer on top, got it all wired up. Retaped down my heat shrink on my uh, ESCs. Most of that wiring is for the receiver and for the uh, video. And I did what I said I was going to do. I actually put a Palulu on there, right? It's just hot glued to the side of the frame there. It's like the best place to put it with the way I wired it. But heck, it's, it's small. Plugged it in. Everything's working. So now will be the test. So your next video hopefully be uh, made in this thing with the... Uh, with the Beta Flight F3 all in one flight controller. I still have to put the top plate on, obviously, but that's eight screws. Get my uh, camera mount set up on it. Be good to go. I'm curious to put it on the scale and see if it lost any weight or not. I don't know. Maybe a little bit, not much. Alright guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.